hello. Welcome to anybody listen. So I've decided that I'm just doing it. I'm starting a show. I always feel like I have great opinions on things. I think I'm smart. I've decided once a week, I'm just going to jump on here and I'm just going to talk. So I'm just doing this for fun. I spent most of my time with my business. My business is my life. I've had some success. I've built it. And I've only ever worked for myself my adult life. And I'm not doing too bad. I still have a long way to go. I don't think I'm some type of genius. But my business is my thing. My business is what I spend all my time doing. And that's where I make my money. So the podcast, this is just going to be for fun. I want to see where it goes. I'm going to enjoy sharing my opinions. And it's just going to be a fun experiment. So... I do have a lot of uh, life experiences. I've lived in many different places. Uh, I've, I've learned to think for myself through my experiences in life. And I think that I bring a unique perspective to things. Um, I, I'm often isolated with my own ideas. You know, I live in Charleston, South Carolina for no reason at all. Uh, me and my fiance, Shelby, we decided to move here about five years ago to focus on our business and go on this adventure. All right, so here's what I think is going to be the premise. I'm just going to start off. I'm going to cover one topic a week, and I'm just going to see where it goes. I don't expect it to be too long, but personally, I like that. It's going to be a snippet, and we'll see how it develops over time. But some potential ideas are maybe to have people vote for the topic that I discuss. Uh, Maybe I could have guests. Maybe I could get personal. You know, business is my main thing, but I could talk about anything. All right, so the first topic I'm going to talk about is just why I love business. So I'm obsessed with business, but I do feel like I bring a unique perspective to it. I always used to say to myself, one quote, I said it when I was 20 years old and I lived by it until it didn't apply to me anymore. The quote was, I don't know if I'm smart and I don't know if I'm stupid, but I'm not scared to find out. I feel like there, at the time, I felt like there was a 50-50 chance. I don't know if I'm smart. I don't know if I'm stupid. There's a chance that that was true, but I'm not scared to find out. Once I like made a life for myself and dived into this, I've decided that I lean towards the smart side and that's a dangerous game to play. And I've, been, and I've been basing things on that for the past six, seven years. I've been believing that I'm smart. I've been trusting my intuition. And uh, I believe that I'm a smart person that's navigating the world. So one thing I do is I, I do a lot of listening, you know, especially since uh, I haven't been talking. So my default is when I'm in the car, when I have my AirPods on in the store, uh, I love listening to my favorite people. I also listen to people I don't like. I just enjoy listening to people talking about ideas and concepts and entrepreneurship. But one thing I do is I feel like I take little tidbits and little pieces from all these smart people, listen to them talk over time, and I find trends. And I, I kind of believe in those things. You know, I'm not just going to blindly believe somebody that says something one time, but I'll pick up a sentiment. Enough, enough times I hear it in different contexts, in different situations, in different voices, in different words. If I hear the same thing from smart people over and over, I'll start to embody it. So through this, one thing that I have picked up, and this is about me being a unique perspective to entrepreneurship, it's that all entrepreneurs, all the big ones, everyone that I've read about, they all had entrepreneurial tendencies as kids. Mark Cuban always talks about how he went door to door Uh, selling hangers for shirts when he was just a kid. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how he shoveled snow and used to sell flowers back to people. He ripped them out of their yards when they were kids. They just were born like that. And kind of right there is where I'm different. I really didn't have that many entrepreneurial tendencies as a kid. Uh, I did have some crazy childhood experiences. Uh, Maybe I'll get into one of these episodes. But I can't say that I was one of those guys that I was selling newspapers at seven years old. When I was 19... That's when I, my life changed, and that's when I became who I am today. And ever since then, I feel like I've had the right mindset. I read the book Think and Grow Rich, and I really started to elevate the way that I think about the world. Uh, I wasn't 22, or I was 22 when I actually started my business. And then 23, six years ago, was the last time I got a paycheck from anyone else besides myself. I love business. I can't breathe without it. But the fact that I wasn't an eight-year-old when I noticed that, I think that makes me unique right off the bat to the voice of entrepreneurship, the, the, the things that people talk about. And, you know, I don't want people to be discouraged if they're not entrepreneurs when they are kids because all these big time people were entrepreneurs when they were kids. And if you're already 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and you think that, oh, I'm not an entrepreneur. No, you can change your mindset if you want to. 
All right, so I love business. I love business because it's raw. I, I do have fears, you know. I All humans have fears. It's it's naturally wired in us to have fear. So you can't ignore fear, but you can get really good at knocking it away uh, when you acknowledge it. So you have to acknowledge it first. It's kind of like a golf ball. I like to look at fear and bias in my head like a golf ball because I look at it, I stare at it for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then I smack it as far away as I possibly can. That's how I treat the fears. So it's not that I don't have them. It's just that I'm good at smacking them away when they arise. I love the game of business. It's a game. I absolutely love games. I'm somebody who I love the arcade. I love, I love, I love, as most people like to sit around and talk, which is also something I like to do. If there's a game going on, I like to give all my focus to it and I'm all in on it. I take my family's Thanksgiving turkey ball very seriously every year. Uh, over the years, I've almost not even participated in some games because I know I'll probably just end up brewing in it if it's not the right crowd. But business is competition every single day, every waking hour, and that makes it so fun for me. And, and the fact that what I love about business is that I get to wake up every day and my success is on my shoulders. I literally get a high from that. I get high from the fact that it's on my shoulders Personal responsibility is, you know, one of the keys to happiness. That's well known. And there's no more personal responsibility than running your own business and having everything that happens. If one of your employee makes a mistake, it's your fault. If something goes wrong with one of your machines, if something uh, goes wrong with the post office, it's your fault. It's, it's your fault every single time that something goes wrong. And there's no point to blame anyone else. And I literally get a high from that. And that's one of the reasons I love business too. It's not easy and it's and it's fun and it's something that I enjoy and I want everybody to be able to do that. Now, happiness is the ultimate game. Everyone has different paths to happiness and maybe some people shouldn't go into the entrepreneur life, but I love business because it's raw, because it's challenging and because I get high from the personal responsibility that I have. I love my employees. I love hiring people. It's such a fun, long-term game. And when you're playing a game every second of every day, you just feel like a kid again. So that's why I love business. And if you have any questions or any thoughts or comments, reply to me on Twitter at SeanLowry20, Instagram SeanLowry20. But I think this is going to be a fun thing to do. So once a week, I'm going to pick a topic. I'm going to discuss it. I'm going to bring my opinions to it. And I appreciate you listening. Enjoy it.